Hey guys, let's make homemade coffee. So when it was school time, we used to always buy coffee. So in the summer vacations, we begged our mom to make it for us. So this is the recipe and you should definitely try it. So first add one liter of full fat milk and bring it to boil and keep on stirring on low flame. Then separate some milk and add corn flour 1.5 TPSP. And then mix this mixture up and make sure there are no thick chunks of corn flour left. And mix it up like this. Okay, keep on stirring this as well so that it doesn't like go up like this or it might spill everywhere. So you also want to gather all the cream on the sides like this. Mine had a lot of cream so I kept on gathering it. And then you have to add the mixture from earlier, like this. And while you're adding, please keep on mixing. Don't stop mixing. So I'm going to keep on doing it. And then we're going to do this for 5 minutes. Okay, next we need to add sugar, 1 by 3 cup. Then add cardamom powder. Dry fruit, this is chopped up and mix it all up and now your mixture is ready for your coffee now you can add it into any piping bag or anything you want added it into but i'll be using this technique by using a piping bag so we're gonna add it in here with our spoon and you want to fill this up okay it will look like this and you have to tie a really tight knot so yeah, so that none of the air goes in. And for the rest of it, we put it into the steel glass. Don't use a plastic glass. And we need to secure this as well. So we use some parchment paper and a rubber band to tie it around. And then you need to keep this in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So I'll see you guys the next day. Okay guys, it's the next day and now they're all really frozen, so let's open these up. First, we're going to open this one, as you can see. Okay, we opened it out of the shopper, um, the piping bags with the help of scissors because it won't open like that. And now we're going to be putting our toppings. These are my personal favorite toppings, some dry fruit, then we have coconut powder. This is so good. And then last but not least, we're going to add some ruavza. This is also really good and it makes it taste super nice. If you add all these ingredients, uh, like toppings, then you're going to have the best coffee in the world. And there you go. And our first coffee is done. Now let's take out the one that was in the glass. So it looks like this. It's completely frozen. So here it is out of the glass. It was melting a lot. So we quickly chopped it up into four slices. Like this. So my mom is going to chop them up like that. Okay, my mom is doing really thick slices, but there's no need to do them super thick. You can make them very thin, or you can even make six out of these. So, yeah, it's your choice. And it's also your choice on how, what toppings you want to add. So there we go. And now we're just going to add all the other toppings on it, and it's going to be done. So it's going to look like this. Kofi is ready and it turned out amazing. It was so yummy. But comment down below, do you like to eat Kofi and do you eat it when it's home time? Hi guys and I hope you enjoyed.